Hello and welcome to my channel Limitless Lauren. I am going to be doing some decluttering, organizing, trying to make a little bit of money. I started yesterday with some of Liam's stuff. I have saved like my favorite baby products from him when he was a newborn through like one years old. I have clothes, I have baby equipment, I have nursing stuff, maternity stuff, just in case because I didn't know if I wanted more kids <laughs> and I decided no I do not want any more kids Liam is enough for me so I think it is time to get rid of it I'm just holding on to it it's taking up a lot of space other moms and dads could be getting use out of these items so I'm just gonna sell it save the money and put it towards something else Liam needs in the future so I actually sold his potty seat I showed it in my potty training video with him it attaches on top of the toilet has a little step and all that I sold that within the first five minutes that I posted it, I was like, what the heck? I didn't think people would want a used potty seat, so I guess somebody did. Mm -hmm. And then today, I sold the baby carrier, the Infantino. It's like gray and it's like a four-in-one convertible carrier thing. I want to keep this ball rolling. I'm going to be going through my closet. It is a nightmare in there. I am just been putting it off for so long, but it's time that I go through this and see what I can sell, get rid of, donate, all that jazz. It might be interesting doing this with Liam while he's awake. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but before I jump into the closet area, I need to put together his pack and play because I found all the parts for his pack and play. I thought I still had some parts in Louisiana. I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna have the complete whole set. Uh, but I found it when I was going through his baby products. I found the rest of the pack and play stuff So I got to put that together take pictures of it get that posted ASAP So I'm gonna do that first and then we'll move on to the next project. Here are the parts that I thought were missing But have been found Star No, you cannot sit in that <laughs> No, no, baby, you're too big. This is for a little baby. You are too big, bud. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Will you stop touching? Go. Shoot. <coughs> Go to the bathroom. Num. You know where it's at. Num. <laughs> okay. Liam slept in this for like the first year of his life on this elevated part until he got too heavy then we moved him down here but ah oh, this thing was so nice all right i'm going to quickly show you how i sell an item on facebook marketplace i don't bother with craigslist or anything like that i have really good luck on facebook marketplace so i just go to sell at the top items i go to add photos i pick out photos that I want. Title, I'm going to do Graco Pack and Play. The price, I'm going to shoot for 90 because I looked up what it sells for and it's $100, roughly the same kind because I got mine from Target. So that's kind of how I base my price. So I will put 90 because I have all the accessories, everything's included, it's in really good condition. What? Category, it gives you some examples based on the title you put. So I'm gonna put playpen. Condition, I'm gonna put like new. I don't bother with the brand or the size. I make sure to write a thorough description if there's anything wrong with it or if I'm including extra accessories, everything like that, I will put in the description. And then product tags, I just started using these actually. So I'll just do a couple of those and then I will just post it. You can now do shipping, but I just do local pickup. And if you're included in any, any groups, I will publish it to that as well. With the coronavirus going on, everything that I post has been in review just to make sure it's meeting the standards. I tried to post swaddle blankets yesterday and it said that my request was denied because it went against Facebook's guidelines or prohibited guidelines or whatever. I'm like, they're baby blankets, what's the deal? So I looked up and it gives you a whole list of stuff that's banned. There was no ban against blankets for babies. So you can refute it and you can give an explanation why you know, your item should be posted. So I put 
that they're baby blankets and blah blah blah. They still denied it. And then they sent me a message saying that medical face masks are prohibited to sell and that nobody is going to see my listing. I'm like, this is not a face mask. What the hell? So I don't know what's going on, but uh, you might run into a few bumps with posting things like that. So just so you know. All right, let's move on to the closet. So I'm going to show you what my closet looks like before. I took the doors off so we could better see what's going on here. And we got a lot going on up here. And more crap down there too. I gotta figure out what to do with these shoes to make them a little bit more organized. The clothes I'm really not gonna do anything with. I'll probably look to see what I wanna donate. Maybe put some of the jackets away since summer is almost here. I'm just gonna organize all this crap. Make it look a little bit nicer. Liam is not having it. He does not want me to organize today. He is being a little turd butt. He's gonna be going down for a nap here soon. Thank the heavens. So then I'll have a couple hours to hurry up and get this done. All right, I pulled everything out. Holy crap. It's a lot of stuff. So my plan is ugh, to look in these suitcases, figure out what's in here. I don't know if there is anything even in the suitcases and fill them up with stuff that we're not using to just get them stored back up there. Here's where we're at so far. I put like winter shoes, boots up on the top corner. I'm starting to fill up over here. Nobody sees it anyway. I'm trying to just pack it as much as I can. And then I still have all this open space and I don't have that much left actually. So I'm going through this box that I put a bunch of clothes in. I have a little donation pile. <laughs> I have had this skirt for years. It's like coming apart. I just can't let it go. I don't know why. I think I'm just gonna go to some <laughs> flapper party or something and I'm gonna need it. Let's mm -hmm. see if this still even fits me. Yep, it still fits. And it's still so cute. I just can't let it go. I don't know why. Here is how it's looking so far. I had this little setup over here, but I decided to move it in here so it's out of the way. I know it doesn't look that cute. <laughs> I decided to stack the rest of my shoes on the top shelf so they're not all just scattered on the floor. I condensed our clothes. I pushed all the winter clothes way back there and then spread out the rest of the clothes out here. It's still a major cluster F <laughs> up there, but I still have space, a little bit of space right here. I also have a Donation, sell, pile. Taylor needs to go through that pile. And just some random stuff that I need to figure out. And it's laundry day, so just ignore that. <laughs> Whew, all right. I have been getting another workout for today. Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I made a little whipped coffee because I need some energy. I think I'm pretty much done with the closet. I need to move on to other parts of the house. Okay, starting from the top, nothing really changed. Shoes are still there. Now these big Costco buckets were downstairs by Taylor's desk. I got so tired of looking at them, so I brought them up here. It is a little compact in there, but the shirts are the right height to where it's not dragging on the totes. I left this the same, hung up my hats. We have a storage closet downstairs, so I brought some items up these little mats that Taylor refuses to get rid of. Another backpack, just some random tchotchkes. Oh, if I need something in that back corner, I am pretty much screwed, but you know what, that's okay. Uh, 
I don't remember how to put these back on. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, somebody put the hole on the opposite side. Next project of the house is to reorganize the bathroom storage because it's getting a little out of hand. I tried to keep it somewhat organized, but I think I could do it a little bit better. So let me show you what we're working with. So here is the top going down. In the house before this one, I had these little nice storage racks in the kitchen but the kitchen cabinets in this new little condo, it doesn't fit. So I found another way to use them, which I love using them for the bathroom storage. So let's see how we can make this a little less messy. I like to take everything off the cabinets. <laughs> I have very little space in here, but just so I can see what I'm working with and I need to clean these shelves. So let me just do that real quick. So the bathroom is done. I have my pile of trash, pile of donations. I have space under here that I can put more stuff. I didn't change too much, but that nail polish back there, I'm doing a nail polish declutter. So a lot of those are gonna be going bye-bye. Come see your new and improved closet! Yeah, it's so organized, wow. Thank you. God, you're such a great organizer. Yeah, good stuff. Taylor, don't be sarcastic. No, I'm being serious. No, it looks good. Okay, I worked really hard on it. Yeah, it looks, it shows. You did a good job. Thank you. I am on my last project of the day, which is the hall closet downstairs, where I keep all the cleaning and such. I was able to take some items up there up into the closet so now I have room to work with and just make it a little bit more organized. Put a little bit more stuff on top, organize this section a little bit. I didn't really know what to do with those cords so they're just gonna stay there. And I got this a little bit more clutter free down here. Wow, what a day. <laughs> it was very busy, but a successful day. I got a lot done, a lot of projects I've been putting off. Even with Liam being very sassy for most of the day, I still got it all done. Pat myself on the back. I have really been trying my best to make the most out of this time in quarantine and just being as a stay-at-home parent since I'm home all day anyway, even if there was no quarantine. I really try to make the best use of my time. Some days are better than others, but I don't have time to be lazy with a two and a half year old running around. There is no time for me to lay down, take a nap. It's just go, go, go until he's in bed. So I spend a lot of my time cleaning and organizing, but the big projects like this, it's harder to do with a little one running around the house. But hopefully this video will motivate you to get some decluttering, organizing done during this quarantine. I feel like we're starting to see a light at the end of the tunnel with places starting to slowly open. Time will tell. I am gonna go relax and edit this video for the rest of my night. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye. But wait. Before you go, I'll miss you so, so please subscribe to my channel and like this video.